I can empathize with the seven and zero team. I was I was that team in uh, last season of Cole where we ended up winning it. So I guess we have a, a pot in both the hands, but only time will tell to see which one comes out on top in this matchup. Yeah, I mean, I'm excited to see what we got going down. To see Dallas taking control of that P1 right away. They're getting some nice shots on those guys on field, but Noah answering back with a nice kill there. He's going to answer with two, actually. He's going to push up. He might be able to get a third here, but he's going to get shot on the side, but Aslo gets a nice shot picking up that kill. And now LAG getting a lot of map control, getting all the kills. They're going to get these uh, Dallas Flat Tires players kind of trapped in their spawn a little bit if they play it right. Yeah, and this is uh, sort of unorthodox to see, especially uh, when you spawn towards the church side. Uh, on Tusk, and usually it's the team that spawns P3 um, that gets the timing there first and can lock a good chunk of time. But nonetheless, LHG with an initial break, able to get a good chunk, almost 30 seconds here on this P1, and set up for that P2 rotation. You see number eight at Flash being able to pick off the player trying to rotate in Jaden, and all the map control in favor of LHG is staggering the push from Dallas. Yeah, I mean, they're still just hammering, hammering these kills down right now as they rotate over to this P2. They're going to be able to get that initial time. They're already up 38 to 8. They're getting these rotation kills, but there's going to be a couple players from Dallas pushing through this church right now. They're going to be going for those back spawns. All four players are there. Of course, going to get in. Uh, uh, Kraus, actually, I think it is, is going to get a nice kill right there. And uh, they're going to be pushing this back in. They should be able to secure these spawns, but all of LAG going to be all over the place here as Aslo picks up a kill there. And, uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, we're seeing Dallas push this in. Really nothing crazy. It's kind of a slow push in, and LAG kind of taking advantage of that. And taking advantage of it, but three kills go down in favor of Dallas, leaving, I believe that's uh, Noah last of the life here on top plat. He's just playing his life, trying to finesse, wait for those reinforcements. Finally, will get taken down, giving Dallas a little bit of time here on this P2. But with 20 seconds left, you see LOG opting towards the rotation. R2 uh, trying to make a play on the rotation. We'll get taken down by Flash, but he'll get picked off shortly after. And so it looks like Dallas 5000 will at least be able to secure that P3 rotation. We'll be down some 40 points here as it starts to pop. You see Noah trying to make a play into the top fire area. We'll get that pick on the Jaden, and we'll get some help from his teammates trying to pick up the star on the Kraus and the Kraus. But Kraus with a nice two-piece uh, from himself will help secure those spawns. Yeah, I'm liking what I'm seeing out of Dallas right now, but LAG is starting to push up from the front here. Looks like they got a couple players top fire. Make that three players, make that four players fire because they all climb up there. Two are going to go towards roof. The other two are still pushing from that fire alley there. And the side of Dallas out there is still holding this down really well. They get the first initial kill. They get the second kill as well. This is my boy R2 popping off for the boys. And Kraus going to push back, get two more, get that seventh streak. And now he's got a glide bomb. And, I mean, for the most part, Dallas is already back in this game. But if they keep getting this time... I mean, they're going to be they're going to be all the way back, and I mean, the rotation's going to be pretty important, though. The rotation's going to be pretty important, but you see number four did spawn out towards the mid. You see LG break on through forwards. That's scrap time, but fortunate for Dallas Flat Tires, they will be able to get the rotation first to that uh, P4 ch chill. But it's a matter of again, like you mentioned, Kraus with some streets can definitely play a big factor as we get into the later hills and back towards this new rotation. But Flash has breaking on through towards the back tank. It doesn't look like Dallas is aware of that, so this could provide the opening for them to break onto this hill. Mine able to get a pick onto a player R2. Mine trying to break on through, but his teammate Noah will be able to get his trade there shortly after. Also trying to work the back, but trades go back and forth, and it's Dallas that momentarily is able to keep that control, but as I say that, it's LAG is breaking on through. We'll hold those spawns towards the back side of the church. You see the rest of Dallas trying to work this field side, trying to break on from the left, but Aslo gets one. We'll get traded out by Kraus. The trade just going back and forth by either team, but it's LAG that's made, able to maintain that control. Yeah, and I'm liking what I'm seeing right now out of LAG. They're getting a lot of map control, but right now, inside of Dallas, trying to push through the front, and it's kind of working a little bit as Jaden's going to pick up two, but immediately get traded out. But that Dallas squad going to get control of Church for the meantime. Only 14 seconds left as you're going to see the side of leg rotating to that P5. Actually, they're still hitting old for that last five seconds or so because why not? And uh, we're going to see the side of Dallas pushing a couple people towards this new P5. Aslo is going to get taken down over there. Kraus getting another massive two pieces. He's starting this map out 17 and 8. Absolute monsters. Dallas. Picking up all these kills in LAG, they are spawning out towards fire, and they might get killed on this rotation. Yeah, might get killed on this rotation. You see Dallas getting that uh, uh, initial 20 seconds. And like you mentioned, I mean, Kraus 17 and he's really been uh, the catalyst for the side of Dallas, being able to uh, get in the opening picks and push out. But as I say, that three picks going in favor of LAG, make that four for Kraus, the man you don't want to see last left alive for Dallas, able to get one, but we'll get traded out shortly after. The rest of the reinforcements coming out through Jaden, looking for one, but we'll get taken down there by Flash. Uh, and Mayan as well. Kraus 
Once again, looking for that pick, trying to hop up this top left area. We'll look for the pick onto the guy well, but no able to take him down. It looks like the push from Dallas is a little bit too staggered. They aren't really working together as a team as much as we've seen LEG. And as a result, the majority of the time going to LEG. But as we get back to this first location, you know, despite what was a bit of a slow start from Dallas, they're only going to be down roughly 50 points. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, thank you, Kraus, by the way, for being 21 and 10. That guy's an absolute menace on the map. They're going to have this P1 uh, initial hold here, but the side of LAG going to be spawning in church, pushing this field. They got to go through Kraus, though. This is going to be a little bit annoying. He doesn't pick up either of them right away, but he's going to pull out that MP40. Picks up one. He's going to pick up the second as well, but his teammates are going to fall towards the hill. But Jaden going to pick up one, going to pick up two. And now Dallas picking up all those kills, going to get this time. This could get them back in it, but they got to maintain this hold. But LAG going to be pushing up from the front. Jaden's going to get the first one. Kraus going to get taken down by Aslo. They're going to start pushing up the map. Jaden going to get the get one there, gets taken down. And now LAG contesting this time. Someone's going to fly out there, get taken down. Best impersonation of Draza there to try to get those kills. Kraus gets taken down as well, and LAG getting some quality time. Yeah, LAG getting some quality time. Uh, able to break on through. And that's sort of been the theme for LAG. They haven't really necessarily rotated really towards these hills, but they've been doing a good job breaking, getting a lot of that scrap time, which has uh, produced a 50-point lead for them here. But as I say, that rotation of P2 is going on through, and this time, you know, might be able to get some good timing and slipped on through into that church area. Looks like Jaden has just missed him, and we'll run through here on top radio. Oh my god, great hair fire there by Jaden, able to get that pick. Uh, onto uh, the opposing player up there from LAG. And once again, the, the initial time going in favor of Dallas, but if uh, history's proven itself, it looks like LG is going to try their best to break on through. Yeah, I mean, right now the, the squad of Dallas holding these spawns and everything down, but they've got to deal with the fact that LAG pushing this top plat. They're going to be uh, going to see Mayan up there. He's going to be, but Kraus, I mean, that guy's prime right now. That guy's on a four streak as well, but Mayan going to get that first kill on the hill, going to get taken down by Jaden. Now Dallas kind of rotated where they are on this P2 hill. But they are going to be able to maintain this control still. They should be able to get the rotation as well as Kraus on a five streak. Might have to burn this streak at some point so he doesn't have to get this uh, overlap. As he's 29 and 13. Absolute menace right now. But Mayan also 20 and 14 on the map as well. Trying to do his best impersonation of Kraus. But this back spawn going to get taken on this P3 from the side of Dallas pretty pretty quickly. As LAG did have the initial setup. They have the initial setup. And it looks like R2 uh, having a little bit of a uh, trouble here in mid-map. We'll get taken down, but while uh, that's going on, the rest of his team has set up here on this new hill, and they sort of got a really good break. They were able to get the scrap on that P2 instead of the P3 early on. You see the pit coming in from LAG. They're able to get that player in the back. Three go down in the kill of P3, and R2 has eventually found his gun. His R2 looks like it was actually broken there in mid map, but he able to come back there, but Flash with a nice two piece, three kills to answer his back for him. And once again, LAG, despite not rotating early, they've done a great job when they're turning on breaks, and it's producing a lot of time. See the rest of Dallas trying to break on through with some nice picks from Sosa. Jaden working the hill well with his team, able to pick another one off there, leaving Azul left alive, trying to make this push happen, but we'll get taken down. And again, Dallas Flat Tires, they're keeping this, this very mixy. Now, despite not uh, you know, having those favorable spawns, they're able to get a good chunk of time there. Only down 20 points, probably around 30 once this new hill pops. Mine, trying to make a play here in the back. Mentioned, making plays all the time, and he able to get that kill. We'll get traded out truly after by Kraus, who's 30 and 60. My god, it's been on another map. But with, uh, you know, we're heading towards those last couple of kills here. It's a matter of can Dallas hold this hill? Yeah, I mean, it looks like Dallas gonna be able to hold it down for the meantime. But the side of LAG able to push that outer church man pushes in, picks up two, gets taken down by Jaden. One more player in there to deal with. Jaden picks up him as well. That was Noah. But that back spawn gonna be in favor of LAG. Jaden's gonna push this out. He's got two players here. He gets one weak. The other one's there as well. He's just gonna keep laying down fire. Pulls out another gun with full with a full mag. He's gonna back off, get some help from his boy Kraus. But there's still pushing in. Jaden picks up one. Main gets him taken down. But Jade, uh, sorry, Noah and Main gonna be able to get this hill. There's only 20 some 20 seconds or so left on this hill. So you're gonna see Dallas still trying to contest this time as they're gonna also rotate from Also rotate towards but you see three kills go down. Jaden with a nice two piece. Uh, my heart two is broken, able to break on through, but you see number five can be the one to spill it all. Mayan will get taken down by who other than Kraus. Able to get that pick, and now it's up to LAG to try and break on through. You see Noah trying to get that first pick on the Sosa. We'll do so. We'll get the second. Yes, he will. Right two picks by Noah to able to essentially break up this initial setup from the side of Dallas flat tires. But who other than Jaden coming in with the support with my R2 broken and Dallas holding off for the meantime. You see the push from LAG. Push is staggered. The rest of the players just waiting for each other to come off spawn while Dallas just sort of conquers down here towards this flat side area. Flash waiting for the aggression to come through well, but he's got to hit the hill. The rest of his team does so too. This choice coming from Kraus. He's able to get the third. And for the first time in this game, Dallas is able to take the lead. 
Yeah, they've got the lead now, and it is a 10-point lead at that. But Jaden also trying to pop off here in this hill. He gets the first kill. It does get taken down. That's going to be all dead, except for I think one was just off the of spawn for the side of Dallas. But LG holding this last bit of time down very well. The side of Dallas going to want to contest this. They can't afford to give all this up. Jaden wins the first gunfight, but Noah going to overall win that. Now they're rotating to this P1 because they can't afford to give this up either. They're going to get that first gunfight win. There's one more over here. They get that. That's three down for the side of LAG. One more in that mid U. That's going to be oh, flash. Right. Gets taken down. Now Dallas has the chance to take this map right here. LAG spawned up towards that roof side because of the player Kraus who pushed through the map. He's going to get flash, but those three players pushing through the middle of the map right now. Looks like they're actually going through church. There's only going to be, what, 15 seconds until the side of Dallas wins this. And they're running right into the R2's gunfire. Also, you got Jaden and Kraus shooting at you. Those players from LAG getting cut down, but getting some nice kills as well in the meantime. Seven more. Make that six more for the side of Dallas before they win this. Man, finally going to get it on this time, but Sosa going to get that kill. Now LAG in, in control of this hill. Full control. They've got a decent setup going, but R2 going to get on this, get it contested as his teammates are pushing up. He's going to fly at him, get taken down by Flash. Nice two-piece out of him. Kraus pushes up, get, finishes that kill off. He's got one more player in that, that god head. He gets him down as well. One more point for the side of Dallas, but this hill is contested for the meantime. LAG still trying to push this. Keep it contested. It's 249 to 240 right now. It is absolute chaos. Jaden gets that kill. Gets taken down. Now it's going to be in favor of LAG. They can't win it here, but Dallas is going to get on. Kraus makes the play, and they're going to win map one. What a two-piece there by the end by Kraus. My God. What a back and forth map. It looked for like uh, for a second that LG was going to be able to come back there at the end on P1, but who other than Kraus, you see him nice pinch through you, gets two kills onto the point. To, to essentially give yourself that map advantage, and so I'm curious to see what we see uh, out of other side. Yeah, we are going to see the squad of Dallas be on that defense right away, and it looks like LG going to opt towards the safe side right away. You're going to see Man already getting pushed by Sosa on that bottom tank. I don't know if Sosa actually saw him, but Kraus... Being the guy we know best, he's going to get that first kill towards the middle of the map. Aslo going to uh, be the, that player, but Mayan gets a kill. I mean, Dallas just picks up three, and that's going to be the end of the round. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that was, that, was, that was pretty quick. Yeah, I mean, I, I you blinked, you missed it. I mean, we switched on to Kraus. So I was like, how the hell did he get back barn so fast? Like, yeah. my God, that guy was flying. You weren't kidding, but able to get two picks there. Definitely caught both us, and it looks like LG off guard. And, uh, what a round one by them. Yeah, they definitely got me good. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they did. But uh, uh, let's see what they're going to be do able to do in offense. It looked like they opted for a really aggressive approach on defense, so I can only imagine what their offenses must look like. But you see, going to hop on with Kraus to start from map one. What is he going to do? Going to switch on to an auto. This time, looks like Flash able to pick up R2 in that back roof area, recognizing that, uh, you know, going to play his life back down before that aggression from Dallas can come on through. Kraus taking control of the street area. Going to push through and see if he can find the timing onto any players inside top barn. Will he or Oh my god, he runs right past the player. Oh my god, he see us! Wow, that is some incredible timing onto Noah there. But eventually, the players will recognize that he is that top grandma's side. He's able to pick on Bomb, and now let's see what they're able to do here. Yeah, he's going to nade towards that back tank, but man, going to be up here towards this top zig, going to push through, get Sosa down. That's going to be a 2v3 situation, Dallas down a player. And they're going to be, like, a little bit spread out from each other. But, man, he's getting a little wild on the map. He's just trying to find somebody. He gets shot in the back from Zig, but Jaden's going to get a nice kill towards that back tank, gets immediately traded out. Now it's going to be a 1v2 situation, but it's the man to bit the legend, Kraus, in this situation. He's up against Main and Flash. Yeah, up against uh, Flash and Mayan as well. Uh, Bomb is down. I don't know if LG is aware of that, so putting Kraus in a pretty precarious situation. This challenge to the old ASMD will able to get it up and pick up Bomb, and that should give the information of to Flash where he is, but it looks like he's going to opt towards his B-bomb so with only 10 seconds left. Looks like Flash is just going to play a little bit more passive, make sure he can't be picked, but recognize that it looks like it's going to be a B-bomb plant. See Kraus is going to challenge, going to get up, grab aggressive, but Flash holding the pre-aim, able to pick off Kraus and get the, you know, one rounded in their favor. Yeah, I mean, that's going to be a big 1v1 there for Flash. You get you get Kra uh, Kraus off his shriek, but also you got, you're on a nice three yourself. You get yourself a nice bomb defuse, get the boys back to one and one. Nothing to nothing to worry about. You're not down 2-0. -oh. Just nice and even at this point. Yeah, nice and even. I mean, they, they played their picks well, despite, uh, you know, allowing Kraus to essentially get a little bit too aggressive there into Grandma's. They didn't get too overzealous. They... You know, held those pre-aims and waited for the aggression from Dallas, which proved to be uh, the difference there in that round. But now it's a matter of if they can do the same on offense. Are they gonna, I'm assuming they're going to expect the same sort of aggression that they saw from that round one. So they might be a bit more passive, as you see number three playing on that godhead, making sure no one can get through mid while number two plays in HUD. Already number one, mine, working inside Grandma's, able to get that pick on the Sosa. So aggression from LG seems looking to pay off. 
Yeah, but Kraus does spot that window opening up there, and he's going to let Jaden know that there's someone pushing towards that middle of the map there. But Jaden kind of sneaks in the back there. Aslo doesn't know he's there. He's going to get taken down by Noah, though. Now, now the side of Dallas, only one player left. That's going to be R2. He's going to get that kill top grandma. He's got two more players to take down, and he's got to get this bomb defuse. He's up against Noah and Flash. And those two, one's bottom tank. The other one's top barn right now. They're just kind of playing. They're waiting for something to happen. Is R2 going to have to make a move here? He's got 20 seconds to deal with, but he just gets gunned from that bottom tank side, and that's going to be another round in favor of LAG. Yeah, it's just a great job there by mine, especially. You know, he gets a little bit aggressive and catches Dallas off guard uh, in bottom grandma's, and that goes straight for the plant. And while that's all going down, the rest of Dallas is trying to move their way up water, and LAG's a little bit wise to it and, and shuts that down from Jaden. So just great map awareness and recognition from LAG to be able to essentially take control uh, on that round. And, a uh, good bounce back after their, you know, what was a pretty quick round one. Yeah, we are going to see the side of Dallas using a quick strategy here of allowing one of your teammates to AFK and spawn. I always like that classic one as they get really aggressive up the middle of the map here. Looks like they want this mid control, but Kraus going to get taken down. Now Sosa, he's in kitchen right now, just kind of waiting for something to go down. And uh, his teammate going to be over there towards that old A bomb site, but Sosa going to pick up a nice kill on Mayan. Now he's just going to keep pushing, getting aggressive towards his back grandma. I think he wants to go towards that back tank, maybe. But no, he's, he's going top grandma right now. He's going to get taken down by Noah. But his two teammates back in the game here, that's going to be R2 and Jaden. R2 gets taken down. Uh, Jaden in a 1v3 situation. He's going to get behind grandma, take that player down. He's got one more in the back spawn there, and then one more on the other side of the map. Yeah, I don't know if he has any information on what either player are, which is definitely uh, going to be quite difficult. But you see Jaden... Shaking his corners, trying to work around the map. Looks like he's going to opt towards B bombs. I don't know if Aslo has spotted him, but it looks like they might meet each other real here shortly. You see Jaden, yeah, we got the pick on Aslo, leaving himself in a 1v1. You see Flash has set himself up top bar, making sure no one can go on one's A. He was in this position shortly uh, in the second round, and Flash was able to win it. With Jaden just taking his time with 20 seconds left, it looks like he's going to have to opt towards this B bomb. So, but as I say that, looks like he's going to make the wrap in the tunnel. And uh, unbeknowingly, we'll be running straight into the frame of Flash. We'll even spot him here. Goes for the challenge. Oh my god! <laughs> for a second there, I thought Jaden might just win that with the MP40, but sure. Yeah, the, the confidence just to take that challenge is absolutely insane, but Flash going to clutch up and win that one. Yeah, and uh, that's going to be another good round there out of the side of LAG, clutching it up there at the end once again. And uh, we're going to see the game go to 3-1, and we're going to see the side of Dallas going to be on this defense. Yeah, I believe my mic cut out there for a second. Yeah. I mean, I think maybe it was just from the shock of uh, Jaden taking that challenge <laughs> and winning it. But nonetheless, LAG, you know, showing out being strong. We'll come back uh, in this s &E. But again, Kyle's getting super aggro. Almost gets picked off there by, it looks like, Noah, but... Uh, able to play his life there, but eventually Noah will find him. And sure enough, LAG once again with the main advantage in their favor. Yeah, we're going to see a 2v4 situation. Mine going to get that other kill. He's going to start getting that bomb down. And now R2 by himself. He's a little bit worried about what's going down. That bomb's going to get planted. He's going to get shot in the back. And that's another round for LAG. And so far, it's been a great SD out of them. Yeah, great SD out of them. I mean, they've just been system after that first one, they've just been systematically waiting for that aggression from Dallas. No, uh, re recognizing the different areas that they're pushing through. And that time, uh, they recognized they had barn open. They, they spot that Krause is trying to get a little bit aggressive. And you see Noah essentially pick him up shortly after. And so they're they're just waiting for that over-aggressive Dallas pushes and, and holding their preams. And uh, Dallas really hasn't had much of an answer. I'd like to see them maybe group up a little bit more before they, they take those aggressive challenges. Yeah, we're going to see the side of uh dallas right now actually taking it a lot slower right now and i like this i i like the fact that they're slowing it down but as gonna get a nice pick for on kraus which is one of the more important people to get down for sure mm -hmm. and now i mean dallas in a situation like kind of a sticky situation once again you're kind of stuck where you're at because lag does have a lot of map control but you can kind of finesse your way towards that a side a little bit here because no one's really watching that but obviously they have no idea about that and you see it looks like they maybe want to push towards this b side is that number eight player jaden Kind of making a move towards Outer River right now, but he's going to have one player in jungle to deal with. But Sosa and uh, R2 are going to be pushing this A side right now. Looks like they want to try to get that down, but Aslo going to pick up one. He's got one more over there to deal with. That's going to be R2 sitting in the corner. He's going to go for the challenge. Aslo going to take him down. Last player alive, going to be Jaden in a 1v4. He does have this automaton, though. Maybe he can get something going, but if they lose this round, they'll be down 5-1. Yeah, and he's got to be careful. He doesn't want to feed streaks. You see Flash already on the 6th. Looks like he might have gotten good timing onto the player of mine there, but 
I don't think he yeah, was able to spot him, but 20 seconds left. He's got to pick up this bomb. Azo really hasn't moved all around. Can he get the ace? Yes, he will. Azo didn't have a kill before this round, but gets four in that one and puts his team within one round of winning this SD. That's a good way to get some kills, I'm not going to lie. I mean, your teammates are probably sitting there like, hey, buddy, where you at? But you know what? He's back. <laughs> He's helping the boys out. But uh, they're going to be up 5-1 right now, going to be on that match point, as you see on our screen there. And uh, going into this, this last round, I want to see something out of Dallas here. They've got that opportunity. We can maybe see what we saw in that plat match earlier where a squad like Atlanta, they were down 5-1. They brought it all the way back to around 11. Yeah, only a matter of time can we see Dallas pull something out. Uh, but it looks like they really haven't had much of an answer here thus far. This is in the LG. It's time to get a little aggressive, trying to pick on the crowds. You see another player going for the chat. Will be Noah. We'll pick him up. But Jaden with support there from L. See R2 trying to watch over this dirty area. But it's mine once again getting super aggressive with the bomb. We'll get taken down by Sos. A little bit of uh, over aggression there by him. We'll punish. Uh, we'll get him punished rather. And just like that, 3v2 situation for the side of Dallas. And bomb is down in uh, the opposing team's bomb. Yeah, we are going to see. The last two players alive for LAG are going to be Flash with that six kill streak. If he gets one more, that's going to be a little sketchy for the side of Dallas, obviously, being able to call in that glide bomb. But it looks like both these players are playing back. Aslo knows he's on that four streak. I think they maybe want to try to play for this streak on Flash. But Dallas, they're doing the move. You know, I think they know the bomb is down over there by tank right now, and they're just trying to take a break. They're letting they're letting LAG move into them because they've got no reason to be aggressive. LAG has to plant this bomb. Yeah, uh, there's a hundred percent what they're doing, and this is probably going to cause a very boring thirty seconds. As either team doesn't want to get too uh, over aggressive with their uh, playing their streaks, and um, with it, yeah, like you mentioned, this glide bomb can be game changing. I mean, they're only without within one round, but you know, getting that bomb down and having that glide bomb in the back pocket essentially, um, you know, halt any push Dallas can have and win a round. So they're being extra cautious as they can afford to be up five to one. Whereas Dallas, you know, they played it right. They caught LAG this time being over aggressive and uh, maybe this is the momentum they need to come back in this map. Yeah, I mean, that's a big, you always got to start out with one round, right? Just like, like, ah, like what we saw from Atlanta earlier. You just got to get some rounds on the board and eventually they just keep going. But I mean, this, this side of LAG definitely going to be playing for this streak on Flash and if he gets that, he should probably be, probably use it right away and he's probably just going to end up trying to chalk the round for the side of Dallas. But Dallas, we're going to see them with the bomb right here. They're going to push through this mid, like, Barn area right now as they try to make a play towards A, it looks like. Yeah, looks like they're trying to make a play towards A. Mayan getting a little sneaky. I don't know if he's been spotted here in the C area. We'll pick off the crowds. Who else? Uh, the most important player has been Dallas thus far. Mayan continue to get over aggressive. This time we'll get caught by Maratu's broken back roof. And we'll take that into a 3v3 situation. You see, once again, LG being super passive here. As on Flash continue to play their streaks, uh, kind of back spawn, almost essentially uh, seceding. Uh, map control to the side of Dallas, which is an interesting strategy here, but nonetheless, they want to secure those streaks if they can. But that will give Dallas the opening here, get this bomb down uh, uh, down today. Doesn't look like the rest of LAG is going to move just yet. You see, no, just playing again. Creddy, this bottom grandma's here, while the rest of LAG uh, continues to be passive. And I'm curious what LAG is going to do. Are they going to continue to be passive like they were the early round, or are they going to wait for Noah to make a play? It looks like they're going to wait for Noah, who's sitting top grandma's, looking for that opening. Doesn't look like he's spotted anything, but Flash able to get that glide bomb to Jaden. Aslo gets the second onto Archer broken, and they're just like that. 1v3 for Sosa. Yes, yeah, Sosa in this situation, a little bit sketchy right now. He's got a couple players pushing him. He picks up the first. He's got two more on the bomb to deal with. He's going to end up going down. That bomb is going to get defused, and LAG going to tie this series back up 1-1. One -one. Yeah, 1-1, one -one and uh, I mean, it was a little bit <laughs> hesitant there at the very end, but they waited for the opening. Flash, who started out 0-1, gets eight straight kills to end the s and and tie this one back up to one to one. We talked about, you know, LG was a team that you know you couldn't count out even if they lost the map because of how dominant they've been this season. Their best is definitely going to shine on through. But let's see what Dallas has in store here on offense. Yeah, we are going to see the side of Dallas pushing this A side out right away. They're going to send three directly to the objective and one covering that mid. He's going to spot out one player pushing that mid. There's going to be one all the way towards that P5 pushing on the outer. This stack on this A point, word to gyms, by the way, is going to be going very well for the side of Dallas as they're picking up some of the kills as well. Now we're going to see some trades going back and forth, but already two ticks fully secured on this A site. The third coming up very quickly, but Flash going to be on this full flank after he gets that kill with the nade. He's going to pick up his first kill. One more on statue. This third tick almost comes all the way through. But the side of Dallas, they've got a person on the flank as well. That's going to be Kraus. Why not? Because that's what he does best. But he's going to get taken down now. LAG do, does a phenomenal job defending that, re-breaking that hill. And he's already getting extremely 
uh, aggressive there on the tile spawn. Well, I believe it looks like he stopped shooting because he figured he won the gunfight, but that does provide the opening for Dallas to get him to this B point. You see two players already opting to go towards an LG, no presence. You finally see Azo looking towards his push on this radio side, but we'll get taken up by R2, and this gives a really good opening. You see already a tick comes through for Dallas. Flash trying to make something happen, but he has been spotted out. Finally, the pinch coming on through from either side for LG should be able to stop any progress towards B. But as I said, R2 broken gets one, gets two. We'll finally get traded out, or that rather Jaden will get taken down as R2 plays his life in spawn. But that, while he you know, draws all the attention towards him at B, the rest of his team able to secure A point. And that's already three ticks on this round for him. They've got a minute and 50 to work with. They're only down two in lives. And there are, they're still staying very aggressive on this point. As you're going to see Sosa get on this. He doesn't really have too many teammates close by. But... That's going to be three down actually instantly for the side of Dallas because they got a little bit pushy-pushy right there. They still have a minute and 40 to work with. Jaden's just going to fly through P5, pick up that first kill. He goes for the second, gets taken down by Mayan. Good pick up there from Mayan, but that player is going to actually push all the way through. Mayan is in P5, sitting in a corner. But you're going to see R2 pushing that back church as he sneaks through to the, through the back line once again. And he's going to be going towards that back spawn, but Flash picking up some nasty kills in the middle of the map. And that life lead is... Like, basically just, like, becoming massive right now as we see an 8 difference. Yeah, just like that. R2, I think look at that pick on to Aslo. Noah getting one for himself. And once again, the side of Dallas, there's pushes so staggered. I mean, you see them all spread across the map, which is definitely not ideal. Kraus able to get one for his troubles. R2 and, and able to get one in a flash. So this will give them an opening as you see the rest of Dallas trying to flood these spawns. And you see they've influenced them towards that field side. Kraus in the back. It uh, looks like LG might be able to recognize this. Well, R2 tries to push flat. We'll get taken down another again. Three in the feed for LG, leaving Jaden left alive on this push. With five lives left, it looks like LG's really turned on the Jets here, giving no opening to the side of Dallas. It's actually forfeiting the back of their spawn, recognizing they pinch them. And just like that, Jaden will get taken down. One life left for Kraus. Uh, I mean, if any man could pick at 1v15, I would bet my life on him. <laughs> but it doesn't look like it's going to happen this time. And LG uh, smothering them uh, in that round one uh, defense. Yeah, I mean, that's a solid job there out of LAG to clutch up at the end. But, I mean, uh, Dallas, I mean, they did a good job just getting LAG off their pace for a little bit there. They were able to like, secure all of A, get that one tick on B as well and during that time. And, I mean, you got to be happy with four ticks for your first offense. It's, yeah, obviously you want to win it every single time. But, I mean, for an offense in this game, getting four ticks, you're always happy with that. That's better than nothing. And now all you got to do is hold LAG to, like, two, three ticks here, and you're going to be in a very, very good position. No, 100%. You're getting four ticks. Uh, it gets extremely important how hard it is to get in the B. And we saw Dallas was able really to touch B after that initial push. But now it's LAG on this A point, seeing what they can uh, make happen. Two picks to go in favor of Dallas here. Flash trying to get on this pinch. We'll get one. Can he get the second? No, we'll get traded out. This team is there for the reinforcements. And eventually we'll let them back onto this A point. Well, the rest of LAG, they're not just looking at A. They're looking at B. Your mind gets a... Uh, Catches rather Kraus sprinting and able to get on this B point. You see Dallas having to opt to retake this B point while the rest of his team is looking towards A. Yeah, Mayan just making absolute plays over on B side, distracting basically all of Dallas by himself. Does finally get some help from Noah, but that player gets taken down right away. Now, over on A, LG already has that one tick on this objective. They're about to get the second as well, but they've got some players pushing up through the middle of the map. That's going to be Kraus, but Mayan, uh, Mayan, sorry, does end up getting that one, but Mayan. Already over here towards this uh, A site. He's going to help his teammates out. They secure those kills. He's got one more player over there. That's going to be R2. And, I mean, right now, Dallas is doing a really good job retaking this site for the boys. Yeah, taking the retaking the site, but it's number eight on our screen. Flash, or rather, uh, across the map. Trying to make a play on a B here. We'll get the kill, and we'll... Uh, all, I, think he, I think he might have secured the tick. Uh, yeah, he did secure the tick for B. That will be really important if we ever do get a round five defense. But as I said, Dallas finally able to clear them off that... Oh, he did not get the tick. I'm mistaken. So, big play there by Dallas. He able to keep him off there for the time being. And while they have su uh, succeeded that uh, B point, they will be tied in lives to make that down one. But no ticks on B, so this is the opportunity that Dallas need to be able to, to win this defense. But as I say that, LG setting up this pinch on this field side. Noah going to wrap through this church while the rest of his teammates hit the back. You see him sort of hitting from all different sides. It looks like they're all slipping through the pushes, uh, or rather the holes from Dallas. One goes down, two goes down for Dallas. Kraus able to answer back, looking for the second pick onto the point, waiting for that reinforcement. But Aslo gets one in the back, and this is the opening that LG needed. Yeah, LG going to be on this point. Ward to Jims with that stack. And R2, though, he just walks in, picks up one, but Noah gets the two-piece there. And uh, he's going to be trying to finesse his life. He was on that five streak, I do believe. And he's going to end up going down. Uh, Dallas does a good job getting everyone off, but these takes are completely tied for the meantime here. But LG going to be able to get a couple more pushes in here. They are up 
a few lives here. And actually, this is probably going to come down to lives more so than time at this rate. Flash going to get taken down towards that comms area. May Amayan going to get taken down by Jaden as well. Jaden just popping off for the boys right now. They've got two more players in the back for LAG. Yeah, R2 just waiting for that player to get past him. All able to pick him off. And despite going down heavily in life, the Dallas able to climb back with the advantage. Only down one now. But just like LAG, they sort of given up their spawn, uh, which is fine as long as you're able to, you know, have someone watch that pinch and be aware of it. As I said, that looks like R2 is going to be the one to come on spawn and kill the, the players in the back of their spawn. Kraus, making sure no one can get through P5 and the rest of the Marine Force is coming on through, leaving LAG with no more respawns and a minute left to work with. And there we go, Kraus getting aggressive through mid map while well, we see number four Jaden getting aggressive to p5 the push is gonna come to him gets the information will get stunned down and go to play his life try and back on down and wait for the reinforcement getting stunned to oh my god and they can move for a second but who are the Kraus coming on this pinch can make the play gets one Jaden gets the second Kraus gets the third and just like that that leaves mindless alive one p8 situation doesn't look like he's gonna have much to do but regardless of the situation he will be taken down here shortly yes he will finally um but they're able to get that tick on a b and the ticks will be tied and i'm, I'm pretty sure lg does have that life advantage too yeah I, I think they just barely sneak into having that life advantage there by a little bit because i think the round one was with like within one or two so i think they end that one uh, up like six or seven so very solid job so far but i mean going into this offense this is going to be a big one whether or not you can get four or five ticks on this one Heck, maybe go for a win here. You got a guy like Jaden on a five. Maybe he can get seven. Maybe that glide bomb will come in handy if you can get that. But we're going to see the side of Dallas. Already going to have two people on this A side. Make that three as they're already pushing through. Jaden picks up his sixth kill in a row. And uh, R2 picking up a kill as well. And Jaden's going to pick up that seven. He's got that glide bomb. The second tick already in on A is the side of LAG kind of getting a little antsy now. Yeah, a little antsy. And uh, none of Dallas... Uh, I, I, okay, I lost, I lost my duel there for a moment, but I think he's back. But it uh, looks like Dallas pushing this one in pretty aggressively. Yeah, my mic is having some technical difficulties. It looks like uh, Jaden's been frying my, my headset like it's been frying LG lately. But as I said, they're able to get that initial A tick, which is uh, good progress for them. And like you mentioned, that glide bomb can be really huge at that. Whether they choose to invest in an offense will be a whole other story. I'm not uh, certain if they will, but as I said, they right. just flash on the massive flank going all the way around Tyler. He might be able to pick up a whole three players from Dallas here while the rest of them wait. And just like that, gets up one, gets two, like the third. Uh, unknowingly, the game is pushed on through. He won't be able to. Shane's able to pick him off, having quite himself a mess on the team. But even despite getting that pick, the rest of his team is coming off spawn. Dallas is going to have to wait before they make a push, but Kraus is doing his damnedest to, to do so. Yeah, Kraus is an absolute menace. Going to get taken down, though. Mine going to try to read that other player pushing him. Does get taken down. So, so pushing this back alley. He's going to get taken down. Noah trying to push up. LAG does have a little bit of control of their spawns back here. As Dallas getting pretty aggressive on these pushes. Just as soon as they spawn up, kind of just solo pushing it out. But R2 going to be all the way in the back trying to play for another pick. He's going to sneak past someone there. Never mind. Gets in the gunfight. Wins that one. Now Dallas trying to play for this B site. They got to try to get at least a tick or two on this. They've got plenty of time. And they've got more than enough lives to get it done. As they're still frying up here. As Jaden picks up two massive kills there. One more player there to deal with. Doesn't quite get it. But his teammate Kraus going to do what he does best. Pick up that kill. Now, LAG off a of spawn. Spawning out towards that church side. But, I mean, Dallas. They keep running into the same issue over and over, it feels like. Where they're getting the kills. But they always have two teammates off a of spawn on the other side of the map. Yeah, they're being a little bit too hesitant. And... Yeah, it would definitely do them favors if they were able to at least stop the time by hopping on the point. But they, nonetheless, they, despite having a one life uh, advantage, all the map control is in favor of LG. There are only 30 seconds left. Dallas is not going to have much opportunity here. They haven't gotten a tick on the feet yet, so a uh, bit of a precarious situation. And with the team kill, and that's four down in the kill feed for Dallas. Gonna have to all come on spawn. You see already the aggression coming in a flash once more, picking off Jaden on spawn. Now, LG have allowed the side of Dallas to get through. Five, which could be the opening they needed, but only 10 seconds left. Dallas is going to have no choice other than to hop onto this point, hope for a tick, but no with two and flash with the support, leaving Dallas with only no respawn. Sosa trying to make something happen here with the last left alive on the point. But with that kill, that should seal the deal. LG win that second round uh, and uh, you're really turning uh, that round in their favor despite looking uh, a little bit uh, uh, unfortunate to, to start that run rather. Yeah, and, and now we're kind of in a sticky situation here for the side of Dallas, right? You have seven total ticks, right? And LG has four. So if they get three on this, they tie you. And, I, I mean, the kill advantage is only slight, right? So, I mean, realistically, LAG, if you can secure all of A or all of B, you're good to go. 
No, oh, 100%. And there's. I mean, you're. Already, you're yeah, sorry. No, no, you, you, you're not 100 right there, but as I said, a massive push out of LG going towards this B point. But Jaden with two, Krauss gets the third, Mayan left alive trying to make something happen. But nonetheless, Dallas have done their job. They're able to halt this push in mind just to put a running in front of him, he's saying, hey, like, shoot me in the back, please, giving him that free pick there. But as I say that, he's at least able to get him to A. Dallas a little bit slow on this rotation here. Should have given them a couple of picks. But like I mentioned, if they are tied on ticks, it's going to come down to. LG can get something uh, happening, but Sosa with a crazy gunfight. Sosa with two, able to stop any push from this A point, and uh, Dallas holding strong. And then off spawn R2 going to be going to check this B site, which thank God he's doing that because all of LG pushing that. He picks up the first kill, he's going to go for the reload, going to get taken down. And then, oh yeah, it's two kills in favor of LG there, but Jaden answering back with what he does best on the map right now, picking up some clutch kills. His two teammates off of spawn are going to try to deal with these players on this B site. As they go towards that back alley, the first one going to get in a gunfight. The side of LAG winning these gunfights in the back spawn. They've got the stack on B. One player, that's going to be Jaden. Somehow gets in out of nowhere, picks up one, picks up two. Kraus going to get one as well before he goes down. And they get some really clutch kills there. That's going to be two ticks overall so far in favor of LAG. As they're going to be getting this A stack in real shortly here. And Dallas has to push this in quick. Yeah, this is where things get uh, uh, unnerving for Dallas. They can't afford to give this up this A point if they want to get that round five defense because they got that tick on B for the side of LG. You see number two, Sosa's just going to strictly play this B point, which is a questionable decision because it's going to allow LG to play 4v3 if they want towards this A point. But you see LG sort of opting to split. You see number eight, Flash, looking to take a 1v1 to B point, will win it. Well, the rest of the team goes A. Jaden able to get off one, but this leaves Dallas in a very tough spot. They have another option. Either you hit A or go for the player on B. And it looks like they're going to go to B, but Flash playing his life ball 27 and 18 and then popping off all map, able to pick up one. He has spotted the second player in R2 is broken looking to take the travel will get taken down by Jaden but the job has been done LAG by winning or rather securing that eight point will secure round five defense and so now they're playing with house money at this point yeah I mean the side of LAG just absolutely popping off right now I mean I mean thank you flash by the way the man's is 28 and 19 but I mean Mayan I mean, he's gonna be 30 and 24 Noah 27 and 22 these guys are absolutely popping off as Noah's winning some crazy gunfights wins two big ones right there his teammates are going to be pushing this in real shortly. Flash on the flank. Picks up one. He's got one more to deal with. Gets taken down by Sosa, though. But LAG still has a lot of map. Well, I shouldn't say a lot of map control because they had two people off the spawn there. They've got one more in back spawn. That's going to be Aslo. Picks up a big one for his boys. But he's just going to have to try to get another pick or two while he waits for his teammates to push up. Yeah, wait for his teammates. He's going to try and push out the spawn to make sure they spawn farther out. And this could provide the opening while he gets some kills off spawn. He should provide his team an opportunity to get him to speed point, but as I say, it's Jaden, who else been trying to push them out. But just like this, Asso continue to be a menace in this back spawn, but he's going to be the last one left alive in a 1v4. Doesn't look like he's going to have much uh, opportunity to make anything happen as they search for him and take him out effectively. But nonetheless, LAG did what they needed to do. They secured four ticks and secured that round five defense, which I'm sure they're pretty happy with. Yeah, I mean, that's going to be big in its own regard anyway. I mean, obviously... It being a defensive game mode, uh, it's always it's always fun when you get that advantage. But you never know. I mean, the the side of Dallas has had some pretty creative pushes. Let's see if maybe they can get something going. Maybe an insta B hit or something. But more than likely, they're going to go with the bread and butter and go right for A right away and get that full capped. It looks like uh, we would think that, but it looks like they're going to opt towards B, feeling that they have the pressure on them round five defense. They're going to want to take this map. They're going to hit towards B, and it looks like LG have a blind counter to setting two players. Watch out. Five push through. Lo and behold, it's flash and with three down. Looks like a bit of a unfortunate suicide there from the nade. It's gonna give LAG uh, map control. Just like that, Azo continue to get aggressive under this tile spawns. We'll go one for one, and it looks like Dallas's push is gonna be uh, spread across the map. Yeah, I mean, immediately already getting spawn killed there by the set of LAG as they just immediately read those spawns for the roof to go and get that taken care of. And Azo dealing with that guy over on A. Another one there, though, that's going to be Jaden. Good luck winning that one as Jaden takes that player down. Mayan, though, in this mid, you get taken down once again by none other than Jaden. Trying to go to be the first player in this lobby to get a 40 bomb, because why not? And But Flash and Aslo making that a little difficult, but Jaden still left alive. Gets another kill before getting taken down. That's going to be only one tick secured on A. I thought maybe they got the second one, but not quite done yet. But Rouse going to get a kill from behind there. Jaden gets another kill on the other side of the map, and now this B stack is active. Or the side of Dallas. They got to deal with Aslo, who's on top plat. His teammates are going to be pushing him as well. He's going to end up killing Sosa. He's got one more player up here, top comms to deal with. But Noah going to be coming in. He's going to take down Jaden over on that A site, I believe. Actually, no, no, right? That was on B for sure. 
But LAG doing a good job wiping those players off. A good job wiping those players off. It looks like it's going to be uh, Dow sort of spread across the map once more. They, they got a player going away. It's A. They got two going towards B. They're able to kill a uh, majority of the players, but it's nonetheless it's Mayan left alive, pushed up A, and now Dallas you know, desperately trying to make something work, trying to set this team push towards B. Kraus trying to look for players in the back of the spawn, but able to do so, and it looks like he's going to try and at least group up with his teammates pushing on to A point. It looks like they might have been able to spot Mayan. I'm not too sure. Yes, they will now, but Mayan getting a big kill. Noah getting support, and they're shutting down the Dallas push now with only nine lives left for Dallas. There's no map control in their favor. It looks like this is a very dire situation to be in. Noah once again getting super aggro on the spot. All the players just running forward, trying desperately to stop the time. You see Kraus might be eventually able to do it, but with the life advantage 18-5, they're going to have to play near perfectly to, to make something happen here if they want to miss this map. Unless LG continues to push on through. Looks like mine won't get caught. Another player on the pitch with Flash. Aslo will get to take out his teammate there, unfortunately. But with four lives left and no respawns left for the side of Dallas, uh, this is definitely the worst uh, spot you could possibly have. Yeah, you still got to get two ticks. Noah picks up a kill there. Mayan picks up a kill as well. And now you're in a situation 2v14. But you got Sosa and you got Jaden. Jaden's 42 and 19. You know, I mean, sorry, 29. You never know. He could just uh, start picking up a couple more kills here. But for the most part, this should be an LAG map win. You do see them kind of spread out a little bit. They're just getting ready to play these kills. And Jaden's playing in the back. He knows he's got to try to get on this time. Try to maybe try to get something done. But Sosa pushing this P5 side. He's going to have to deal with two people over here. So this could be a little bit scary when it comes through this. He's going to check his corners here right away. He's going to get taken down. Last one alive going to be Jaden. He's all the way in the back. He's calling in that glide bomb. He's trying to get as much info as he can. Maybe pick up a kill or two here. Yeah, that's going to come in. He's going to target. I've seen you. Yeah. getting either of them. But uh, Jaden, you know, now he's by himself. He's got 15 seconds to go. These LAG guys, they're getting ready for him to make a move because they just want to get the kill and call it a day. He's going to end up killing Noah. Gets on that site, and he's going to get traded out of here momentarily. Because they're pushing him very aggressively. He almost gets a second, but does get taken down. And LAG, they're going to win their second map to go up 2-1. Yeah, and you saw Jaden with his best efforts. I mean, 40, I think it was 43 kills he ended there. Mm -hmm. An incredible uh, performance from him. But unfortunately for him, it just wasn't enough. You know, you saw the lights of Flash and Noah. Yeah, it looks like Noah was just, you know, taking stock of his surroundings, making sure he understood what map he was on. Sometimes people think this is Tuscan or Berlin, mm -hmm. but nope. Mm -hmm. Gotta make nope. sure. You never know. You can never be too certain, especially on a game like Vanguard. But nonetheless, so let's see how this breakdown ends up panning out. The Dallas is going to get there first. Kraus is spawning some aggression here in the front of Grandma's going to wait for his teammate to get on. Jaden able to get one, but trades going back and forth. And it looks like LG prioritizing the spawns, and they have been able to flip them off the start. Yeah, they are playing this backside right now with their ARs. That's going to be Aslo back there. As his teammates, he's just letting them send it towards that hill. He's just completely playing for P2. He's like, hey, boys, keep contesting that. Let's play for P2. But uh, the big thing is you got to contest that hill because uh, what's the point of playing for P2 if you give up 30, 40 on P1? And so far, the side of Dallas doing a good job on this hill. But Mayan not going to let that happen for free as he pushes up, gets a nice kill on that hill. But he's going to have to deal with someone running around here. That's going to be Kraus. Hello, how you doing? He's going to get a nice kill, and he's going to dip. He's going to try to go back for these spawns, <laughs> help his teammates out once again. As this P1 is, uh, it wasn't really as contested as I would have thought. Yeah, not as contested. I mean, 20 seconds for Dallas do go in their favor. They don't have the spawns for P2, which uh, can be a bit precarious. But regardless, LG hasn't been able to get to the time. They will eventually get three down and still have the spawns. They've uh, pushed me down to the front. Kraus able to get one into Grandma's. Oh. Nice for him. Able to get two thanks with his nade. Jaden with a third from his nade. Sosa got some shots on, I believe that was Flash. And they will break on through from the less favorable side. Yeah, thank you, Kraus, by the way, for just pushing right through Barn and getting some nice kills right there. But Mayan not letting it happen for free. Picks up some some nice kills there. They get back on the time for the side of LAG. But Kraus, once again, kind of around the back, gets taken down by Noah. This time still going in favor of LAG. But. Dallas doing a really good job making sure it's contested, making sure they keep pushing it. As much as LAG got the initial setup, it, does, it didn't really matter. They got actually more time overall on, in favor of Dallas there. But this P3 rotation is coming through for the side of LAG. They're going to have this backside control. They're going to have these spawns. But the side of Dallas, I don't know if they care too much. They're ready to spawn kill. Yeah, it looks like Sosa looking for Azul in the back. We'll get that big pick, and Jaden getting some picks in towards Grandma as well. Should look to flip the spawns, and yes, they will. Jaden continue on the streak. Looks like he hasn't missed a beat since that's Tuscan Control, as he's absolutely crying for 10 and 4. We'll get things down by Noah, but again, the trade comes up through from Kraus. And just like you mentioned, the aggression from the side of Dallas is a little bit too much to handle thus far early on in this SD. Sorry, SD, sorry. Hard point, Bo <laughs> Cave, as we uh, talked about. But again, Dallas 
Breaking on through first. You see LAG trying to make this push. They got no hit from the top. Looking for a kill. Nades galore hitting through. Looks like they're hitting oh, both the teammates and the opposing squad. But R2 broken. Look for the kill. Flash breaks in with two kills of his own. But it should be traded out here shortly by Jaden and Dallas. Here. Starting off pretty hard. Yeah, and Jaden being a monster. Picks up three in the hill there before going down. Guys 15 and 7 on the map so far. Absolute domination out of him. And uh, this time right here going to be contested by LAG as they get a lot of this a little bit of scrap time here at the end as Dallas trying to push through to get towards that barn hill. But we're going to contest the last few seconds on that hill. Flash going to get one of those kills. He's going to get another one as well. It's going to be three down for the side of Dallas. But uh, LAG, I mean, they're doing a solid job making sure they get to this new rotation. They, they know they got to get some time on here. But it, you just see that clock is already ticking down on this overall map. Of, oh, Sosa with a nasty gunfight there mid-map. Nice turn right there. But Kraus with a nice couple kills in that hill as well as Dallas gets this hill control. That's really been the story for Dallas. They haven't rotated earlier, but they've been breaking early and fast. And uh, just as I say that, LG able to break back on through thanks to some kills from Naya, Maya to Noah. Kraus once again going for this push around the back. It doesn't look LG is aware of it either. Boss also looking for the second player. We'll go into Barn waiting for that reinforcements to come from his team. So he's able to help him out. Once again, Kraus sort of running around looking for those kills. We'll get traded out there by Noah. And it looks like LG, despite not getting a lot of the time, will at least be able to secure some sort of scrap and secure that rotation towards P5. Noah does a good job there on the map there to get that rotation over to help his teammates out on P5. He's going to see that player initial actually pushing up from River. Actually, that I think that was Maya. But Mayan, sorry. But uh, right now, Dallas gets a nice three kills. They're going to get on this hill. But guess who's going to be that back L jungle? That's going to be the Aslo and his boys. Still pushing up. Uh, Dallas still barely up in this game. But so far, it's been nothing but back and forth contesting. I love seeing that actually on a map like this. But Noah picking up some big kills. He's going to get back on this time. Try to get his team a little bit of a lead. They're still going to be down by two points. Which in, in hard point is basically nothing. But the side of Dallas... Just running through this spawn, running through this setup of LAG. Yeah, running through this setup of Flash, holding the Prim, waiting for that aggression from Kraus, and uh, wisely doing so. Aslo looking for this pitch onto the point, gets one. I don't know if he's part of the player to his left, but it looks like his teammate might have taken him off. But nonetheless, LAG able to break back on through onto the hard point. You see Dallas spawning all the way over a 10. Probably won't be able to get another hit towards his hard point. And LG push out. Aslo starting off pop 14 8 will get taken down by Sosa. And it looks like Dallas will end up sending some reinforcements. Again, at least to keep LG off scrap. But after this first rotation, it looks like once again going to be roughly within uh, six points of each other. And again, a little bit of a different story on this hardpoint than the first. You know, we saw LG at uh, the first hardpoint on Tuscan. They weren't really rotating early or looking to break, but it looks like it's almost flip flop with Dallas doing the, the at least trying the breaking method while LG is rotating first. And just like I said, that all purple in the kill feed. It looks like LG's finally get their stride. Yeah, I LAG is starting to turn up. You can see a guy like Mayan on that five streak. If he can get a live bomb, that's going to be helpful late in the game. He's going to get that sixth. He's going to push through the spawn. He's going to see his seventh. He's hunting down his prey. That's going to be Jaden. But Jaden clutches up, gets that massive kill. Gets some help from Kraus as well mid zig. And him and him and Kraus going to just keep pushing through. But Flash gets both those players down. Flash picks up a third because he's just a menace. But so so going to get that trade on the map. LAG just barely up by about 20 points right now. Still getting some good time on this P1. Kraus going to get that player off P1. He's going to try to push for P2. He's got someone bottom barn. That's going to be Noah. Gets traded out right there basically immediately. And now this P2 is going to be spawning up here real shortly. But there's only 2 minutes and 26 seconds left in this game overall. And the amount of contesting that's been going on, that's going to be a problem. Yeah, this definitely could go to a time like we talked about. But again, you see Dallas getting a little bit antsy, trying to fly towards the hill, make something and force something to happen. But it's the pre and the LAG that they're running into and essentially giving them no chance to break these hard points. Now, Jane's able to make something happen with a nice nade uh, onto mine there to break the hill. But that's only one materially. Jane finally breaking on through him and Kraus. Who else? The sub do is absolutely. Uh, menacing this tire map, Jaden able to get a third and eventually able to break on through and have uh, unknowingly flip the spawn. Did this look where this is yet? Noah trying to get in the trade, but Jaden continues to go on a rampage. Will finally get taken down there, but it looks like Dallas has at least been able to get the scrap time. But as I say that, uh, once again, LAG is breaking back on through. Yeah, and LAG right now going to be up by about 30 points as this rotation to that P3 going to come through. But Dallas didn't get this last 15 seconds or so, which is going to be massive for them. But R2 just walks right on into this back spawn. He picks up that first player in the hill. He's going to pick up the second on top bridge, and then he's going to run back to help his teammates out. Does get shot in the back by Aslo so that they can keep those back spawns for the boys. Why not? And uh, now Dallas going to be trying to run through this front here. But the side of LRG, they're just, they've got people placed everywhere. They're ready for some trades, and they're definitely getting them right now. But Jaden, this is a guy who you do 
not want to get in a gunfight with. He's going to get stunned, though. He's going to be trying to push the back. He's got a couple players back there. Dallas can be contesting from the front. There's still trades going back and forth. Jaden running in, gets those, those kills. But R2 going to be in the back. These spawns will be in favor of Dallas. 30 seconds left on this hill as LAG Aslo in the back just trying to get something done for the boys. They kind of just run through the front, get some nice kills. Flash once again with a nice multi-kill. Gets in the back, gets some help from Mayan to get a nice kill there. And, I mean, so far, LAG looking solid. Yeah, it's really off the back of LAG once again you know, playing those rotations and playing close to hill. Dallas has had... Every, every single time off spawn, it's them having to run straight towards Hill and straight towards Preems. And they haven't really had an opportunity to breathe or get a setup or any of the sorts. It's just been constant trying to flood the hill and trying to break. Just as we see here by Jaden getting picked up by Noah. And as a result, LG's broken out to a 70-point lead. They can taste the win here. All they got to do is be a little bit strong on their holds. But as I said, that it's up and down trying to break on through Sosa gets one. Longing for the trade onto mine, but unable to do so. Mine just playing his life well, running around. Kraus picking up two, Jaden with the third, and Dallas once more, like they've been doing the majority of the map, getting uh, all the trades and uh, breaking onto the hill. Yeah, I'm loving what I'm seeing here out of the boys on Dallas. They're trying to break into this, but LAG holding strong. They're like a Spartan wall right now, and they're holding strong, but Jaden, once again, being an absolute menace. Guy's on a five streak, he's 35 and 25 a roll. He does end up going down, but his buddy Kraus does what he does best, comes in and helps him out. Kraus gets that two-piece. He's trying to get as much of this time as he can, but Azo lines up a couple of them, gets two. A little bit of help from Mayan to get that third as well. But Jaden's still in that hill, making sure he gets the last bit of time. But this P5 rotation in favor of LAG is Azo just being a distraction over there. But Kraus pushing into this new hill, going to get that first kill, but gets killed from outer. And now you're at a point where if you're if you're the side of Dallas, you kind of just got to go. You can't afford to let LAG get much much more time than they already have. But LAG still cutting people down on this rotation over to this P5. And, I mean, Dallas is just getting absolutely cut down right now. Yeah, look, all the map pr pressure and control. And, and now they're, they're sort of succeeding the map pressure, but they're playing tighter on the hill, not giving Dallas much of an opening uh, as they're going to be able to trade here shortly. Again, it's the rotation of P5 that LAG's had that is presumed to be strong, but Kraus with an opening gets one, gets two. Can he get the third? No, will finally get shut down. And just like that, they move within 40 seconds of being able to win this map and down. One all the way out and in. Jaden making something happen, pulling out the auto, able to get two. Looking for the pinch, gets the third. Can he get the fourth under the hill? No, he will get team to pick Kraus. How unfortunate for him as uh, the rest of Dallas desperately trying to get on this point, stop any time, but being, being down almost 90 points now. Looks like they're going to have to play almost perfect caught if they want to get back in this one. Yeah, I mean, the, the side of LAG, though, has just turned it up on this map for sure as they're still just absolutely getting, like, tearing Dallas off of these spawns left and right. They're going to be getting this initial time on P1. They could win it here at this right with the way they've been able to shut down Dallas on these spawns. But Dallas right there going to get two kills before one gets traded out. Jaden getting a nice nice team kill right there by accident. I mean, we've seen a lot of team nades in these last couple couple of hills here, but only 12 more points needed for the side of LAG to win this. Aslo fighting for his life on that hill does get taken down, but Mayan going to push up to do his best. Gets taken down as well. Now, Dallas getting a lot of very important kills, but you don't have a lot of time. You got to make sure every single second is in your favor. Yeah, with only 12 seconds left for LAG, this is looking extremely dire for the side of Dallas. They got to fight for that rotation, and they can also give them the scrap, and LAG is broken on through. You see they recognize the spawns for Dallas. They're going to be back water. You see mine Flash pushing those cuts out. Kraus desperately trying to contest the time, but with two seconds left, there we have it. LEG undefeated all season will be your silver pre-made North champions. Yeah, I mean, big shouts to them for winning the silver pre-made North division, but I mean, also massive shout out to Dallas. Put up a heck of a fight. I mean, you go four and three throughout the entire season. You've got yourself a crazy run through.